with the English class. Hello, hello, people. Good evening. How are you? How are you, people? You ready? How are you? How are you? Are you ready? Hello, hello. Do you hear me? Angel Eduardo, you have a puppy. What is that? Is that your dog? Your dog? What's the name of that dog? That's how uh, beautiful. It looks very beautiful. Oh my gosh. I need to get your names, but I think you are like. Uh, okay, this one is. Hello, hello, people. Good evening. How are you? Are you ready for okay. today? Good. It's nice to see you one more time on this Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Just give me a minute so I can set up my computer and we can be ready. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. How are you? Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. We will continue practicing English a little bit, right? A little bit. And I hope that um, everybody is healthy at home and ready. Look at those beautiful faces at home. Everybody happy. Like, I don't know why, but you look so happy today. Is that because of the weather? The weather is nice, right? Um. We have Griselda, we have Eva, we have Claudia, Melissa, Marvin, Nancy, um, Karina. Welcome, everybody. Nice to see your faces. Well, because you have your cameras on, that's why I'm seeing your faces. Okay. So it's nice to have you on this uh, a beautiful day. So welcome, everybody. We're going to start a class. As you may know, I will let you know that today we have class number three, right? This is going to start with section number two, uh, where we're going to have questions with B. Okay, so we're going to have questions with um, today's class. Okay, and we're going to practice a little bit of review with questions with B. And this is, uh, well, Modulo Principiante, this is class number three. And Mr. Palomo, it's nice to see you one more time on this beautiful Days. So welcome everybody. Nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much. Okay, I will say the attendance. Give me a minute so I can have it ready for you. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, Ana Maria, I'm sorry, Ana Marina Cáceres. Ana Marina Cáceres. Present. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Ana Xiomara Barrera. Present. Thank you so much, Ana. Ángel Eduardo León. Present. Thank you so much, Ángel Blanca. Rubenia Cerón de Santos. Blanca Cerón de Santos. Hello, Blanca. No? Ok. Um, Carmen Romero. Carmen Romero. Ok. Continue. Claudia Araceli Paredes. I am here. Perfect, wonderful. Dalia Marisol Hernandez. I am here. Thank you, Dalia. I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name. Is Dalia or Dalia? Dalia. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. David. Oh, David. Oh, David. I am Oh, don't forget that you need to say I'm here or present time. Eva Elizabeth Ordonia. 
present. Thank you, Eva. Griselda Estrada Landa Verde. Griselda? No? Okay. Hugo Orellana Vides. No? No word today? Okay. Jenny Eri, I'm sorry, Johnny Heriberto Pineda. Johnny? Hello, hello, Johnny. No? Okay, I'm sorry. O Jose Oswaldo Hernández. Jose Oswaldo Hernández. He's in here. Um, Karina Yamilet Hernández. I'm here. Thank you so much. Kathy Esther Guzmán. Kathy Esther Guzmán. Kenia Giselle Romero. Kenia Giselle Romero. Oh, you're here. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome. Marvin Danilo Cordova. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Good evening. Moises Rodas. I'm here. Perfect. Pedro Ramirez. Hello, Pedro. No. Okay. Ricardo Flores. Ricardo Flores. Okay. Rosa Moreno. Rosa Moreno. No Rosa today. Okay. Rosa Barrientos. I am here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Zaira. I'm here. Thank you. Rosario. Rosario del Carmen. Rosario del Carmen. No? Okay. Um, Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie. Present. Thank, you. Thank you. Valeria Gómez. Hello, hello, Valeria. Hello, Francis. Thank you so much. Jancy. Hello, Jancy. Hello, teacher. Thank you so much. Very good. Jenny de la Concepción Urbina. I am. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Very good. It's really nice to see you one more time, people, on this beautiful day, Wednesday. Yes. Don't forget, right, to practice your English every day. Con su familia, con su esposo, con su esposa, con sus hijos, con sus compañeros de trabajo, dígales. Good morning. How are you? You are my husband. You are my wife. You are my daughter. Good morning. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Practice estas phrases, right? Aunque lo vean así como... Ahí está, pero se está volviendo full, right? Yes. Sí que está, pero dominando con el inglés, right? Do it. Very good. Do it. Don't forget that, right? Parece sencillo. Parece algo que así como que... Ay, pero me, que le ayuda a uno en la confianza. Yes, right? Yes. Si usted tiene un negocio, mejor. Ahí cuando llega el cliente le dice, Good morning. How are you? Okay, see you. Bye bye. Take care. Yes. Practice your English, okay? Let's begin with a little bit of practice on this one. Give me a second a chat. Okay, David Enrique, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's take a look at this one. What do you see, Nancy? Stephanie Alvarado. Dígame, what do you see in this picture? Please, thank you. Yancy Stephanie Alvarado, what do you see in the picture? In this picture? Hmm? What do you see? What do you see? ¿Qué observa? What do you see in the picture? I love to. I love to. Very good. I cell phone. A cell phone. Very good. I wallet. I know. The wallet. 
I wallet. A wallet. A wallet. Very good. An, an. An, umbrella. 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 Así como la de Rihanna, ¿se acuerda? Under my arm, umbrella, eh. Okay. So, then we have, mire, la que siempre, right? Keys. Keys. Very good. A. Thin gloves. A hairbrush. Hairbrush. A hairbrush. Very good. An. An. Energy. Energy. Energy bar. Energy. Energy. Así como energía, pero es energy. Energy. Um, like energy bar. Um, energy bar. Very good. Um, energy bar. Very good. And this one? Sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses. Suena como una O. Sunglasses. 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 Exactly, right? Was in the playa, right? So you got sunglasses, right? So I need my sunglasses. Very good. Okay. So questions for you. Question for you. Melita, Giselle, Lopez. Thank you so much. Are these objects plural or singular? Mm, or are singular. Okay. Can you tell me, please, those singular? Singular. A laptop. Cell phone, an umbrella, wallet, hairbrush, an energy bar, and sunglasses. Sunglasses singular or plural? Mm, I think it's is... singular or plural? Singular. For okay. me, singular. Okay, you're very good. How do you know that something is singular here? Uh, that was singular. Uh, because the the letter S. Okay, so if you letter S, is it singular or plural? Hmm? If you need a letter S, is singular or plural? Plural. It's plural, very good, right? Yes. It's plural, right? If you not tiene? it? It's singular. Very good. Okay. Because it's one. Thank you so much, right? So, la primera forma de identify cuando contiene singular o plural, vamos primero. La imagen, ¿cuántos vemos? Just one. One cell phone, one laptop, one wallet, one umbrella, one hairbrush, one energy bar. It's just one. Pero aquí en esta picture, on last keys, we have three, three sure. keys, right? So we have one, two, three. So that is plural. And here with sure. one glass, we have one glass and two glass. So we have glasses, one, two. So that's why we have sunglasses. Entonces, los sunglasses siempre van a ser plural. Por eso, porque necesita two glass, right? Para uno por cada año. Por eso siempre va a ser Plural. Las keys, esas sí pueden ser singular, porque a veces solo tenemos one key. Yes. Las. <ríe> la de. Este señor. Juan Luis Guerra, right? Yeah. Yeah, la de Juan Luis Guerra, right? Ahí, ahí es just one key, right? Just one key. La de Juan Luis Guerra, right? But here in the picture, we have keys. So tenemos singular en plural. Very good. Melissa dijo algo very important. Cuando algo es plural, we have letter S. Yes? Letter S. Mm -hmm. Yes? Eso me da mi la indicación. That is plural. Ahora, cuando algo es singular, siempre me va a dar la indicación que esto que va acá o que no tiene S. Aquí no veamos la letra S, right? No letter S. ¿Ok? Right? Ahora, ¿qué significa esto A o AN? Right? It's just telling you that it's just one object. Yes? One object. Yes? 
So when you go to uh, la, la pupusería, right? Excuse me, niña um, Guadalupe. Give me one pupusa with cheese and loroco, please. Okay, so give me a pupusa with cheese and loroco. Yes, right? Ahora, cuando usted va a pedir tres, right? Ya no dice a. Ah. Eso dice, excuse me, niña Lupita. Give me, right? Okay, three pupusas. Three pupusas, right? And yeah. This is the way we no. no. Okay. So now let me show you more. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, let me show you more. Okay, here we have this example. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a poner aquí? Vamos a poner esta palabra. Um or ah. Uh. Okay, let's begin. Number one, Eva Elizabeth Ordonez Martinez. Number one, thank you so much. Is uh, is one go. No, tiene que decirme una de estas. A or an. Mm. This and book. This is like this. A book. This is a book. This is a book, right? Otra vez. One more time. This is a book. This is a book. One more time. This is a book. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's continue with. You, Jancy Stephanie Alvarado. Thank you. La number two. This um, is good. Okay. This is an English book. ¿Por qué me puso an, Jancy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Está correcto. Okay. La explicación acá, si ustedes pueden ver en esta parte de acá, tenemos an plus vowel sound. A plus consonant sound. Right? Okay. So, what do we do? What do we do here? Cuando la palabra que le sigue comienza con un sonido de vocal, le ponemos una an. This is an English book. Porque esta es una sonido de vocal. Yes? English book. Ahora, si la palabra comienza con sonido de consonant, yo le pongo a. Aquí tenemos una sonido de consonant. This is a book. Y luego con sonido de vocal, this is an English book. Ok. So this is the way we do it, right? Estas cosas son singular o plural. Mm -hmm. Karina, canales, estas cosas son singular o plural. What do you think? Uh, singular. Beautiful. That is correct. It's singular, right? It's singular. Everything is singular. Right, because we just have one. Thank you. Um, Hugo, thank you. Number three, Hugo, thank you. Uh, this is a uh, an eraser. Beautiful, an eraser. Again, vowel, vowel, the new de vocal, right? Vowel, mire, eraser, very good, great job. Eraser. Thank you. Dalia Marisol Hernández, thank you. Dalia Marisol Hernández. Mm -hmm. Dalia, the number four, number four. She is a notebook. Very good. Otra vez. This is. She is okay. a notebook. Beautiful. Otra vez. Yo digo la palabra y se la repite, right? This. 
What? Is. 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 Very good. Suena como si me like this. Espérame que lo perdí. Sorry. Oh my gosh. This. 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 Exactly. Okay. Otra vez. This. This. Is. Not. Okay. This. Is. This. Is. A notebook. Beautiful. Ahora vamos a trabajar con notebook. Repita. Notebook. 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 Very good. Okay. This is a notebook. Repeat. This is a notebook. notebook. Very good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Right. Se fija cómo la práctica mejora la pronunciación, right? This is a notebook, right? Very good. Very good. Great job. Let's continue with you. Yes, that is you, Claudia. Number five. Thank you. Claudia Araceli. This is a pen. Thank you so much. You were perfect, really quick. That was wonderful. This is a pen, right? Thank you. Yes. In Marvin, number six. Marvin? This is, this is a clock. Beautiful. This is a clock, right? Very good. Very good. Okay. So this is the way we use it with singular things, right? Ahora, en este apartado, it's very important for you. Y le voy a recomendar lo next one. Okay. Vocabulary is very important in English. Entonces, yo le voy a recomendar cómo practicar vocabulary usted, right? Yes. Entonces, viene usted y dice, right? Aquí tengo how. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm making this the cost. Okay, let's see if it's cool, right? A school object, yeah? So I have a school object here. Yes? Lo pongo en medio, right? If I have a notebook, let's say, lo pongo ahí en medio. Tengo yo y luego, okay, vamos a ver. Yes, right? Y utilizo, yes? Así como estamos practicando ahí, right? Agarra el objeto y dice, oh, this is a pen. Yeah? Then, oh, this is a ruler. Yeah. Okay, so this is a cell phone. Oh my gosh, sorry. Okay. Y así es como usted va agregando más, right? Ahora, estas cosas son singular. Entonces usted dice, okay, this is a cell phone. Yes, this is a pen. This is a ruler. This is a, okay? Y así, usted aquí le puede cambiar, then, lo que usted quiera, right? Usted puede decir, oh, let's talk about clothes, okay? Ahora voy con ropa, right? O luego dice, okay, let's talk about the house. Okay, let's talk about, I don't know, um, animals, right? Animals, yes, yes. So you can work with vocabulary in this way, yes? So you can practice vocabulary in this. This is, esta es una recomendación, right? Para que usted mejore su vocabulary. Yes. Little by little. Because it's very important for you. Yes. Porque si yo le pregunto en una picture. Okay, what is this? Usted tiene que decirme. Oh, that is a ruler. Oh, that is a, no sé qué. Yeah. Yes. So this is one way that you can learn. Or you can practice vocabulary. Um. By yourself. Okay? Now, let's take a look at more examples. We have this and we have these. Okay? We have it and we have they. Thank you so much. Let me see. I need a, somebody with this one. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me check. Ricardo, ayúdeme, Ricardo. 
please read the information. Read the information, Ricardo, please. Thank you. Ricardo? This is a laptop. Very good. Continue. These are laptops. Continue. What well, this is a freight driver, right? What are these? They are flash drivers. Thank you. Continue. It's, it is. They, they are. They are. Very good. Thank Very you so much. Okay. Here, miren, ¿qué le vamos agregando? Plural. Right? So we were working with verb to be. And el verb to be, ¿cuál sería el singular? Alguien, tell me, please, tell me, what is verb to be singular? Ana, Marina, Catherine. Is. is, very is. good. Is, is, is singular. Uh -huh. And what is the plural, Ana, Marina? Are. Are is plural. Right? Entonces, aquí tengo, this is a laptop. Y aquí tengo, these are laptops. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo están los objetos? ¿Cerca o lejos? ¿Cerca o lejos? Esto es obvio. Están cerca, right? Están cerca. Por eso utilizo this. Utilizo this. 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 La diferencia, este es plural. Este es plural. Este es plural. Singular. 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 ¿Ok? So, singular, singular, singular. Plural, plural, plural. Yes. ¿Ok? This is the way. Con las preguntas es lo mismo. Tenemos what this. La pregunta es singular. La respuesta tiene que ser singular. Right? La question is plural. What are these? What are these? La respuesta es. Right? Singular, singular, plural, plural. This is the way we're going to do it. ¿Ok? Por el singular podemos utilizar it is cuando es un object. Because el it, ¿se acuerdan que utilizamos para animals, objects, places, right? Y utilizamos para el plural el pronombre they. Ok, they. Para plural objects. También puede ser para plural gente, right? People. But here we can use it with objects. Porque tenemos laptops y tenemos a flash drive. Ok. Contraction, you can say it. Or you can say there. Okay, so yo le pregunto, right? What's that? I'm sorry, what's this? What are these? Okay, so that is the question. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Give a minute. Okay. Oh my God. No. Okay. Look. Thank you so much. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We have what is this? It is a book. What are these? They are books. What is this? It is a pencil. What are these? They are pencils. Okay. Again, si le preguntas about something singular, so the answer is going to be about something singular. If the question is about something plural, no, the question is going to be about something plural. Okay? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Question? Una pregunta solo. Eh, cuando termina en vocal se le agrega es. No, caballero, no está bien. No, no se le agrega, no se le agrega ese. Eh, me está hablando de esto, Bujir, right? ¿De esto me está hablando? No, el otro, el siguiente que estaba explicando. Aquí. Ajá. Eh, 
No, o solo la S. Cuando es plural. Ajá. Oh, ok, ahora sí lo entendí, I'm sorry. En la palabra. Ajá, exacto. Yes. En la palabra sí le agregamos S. Ok, a la palabra. Yes. Entonces, very good. Aquí tenemos book, no S. Pencil, no S. Pero aquí, yes, ya le agregamos. Es. 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 es lo que le comentaba, ¿verdad? Right? Porque, porque tenemos plural, plural, y esto también tiene que ser plural. ¿vale? Plural, plural, plural. Very okay. good. Good question. Very good. Okay. Gracias. Stephanie, Carolina, thank you. Y si la palabra termina en vocal, por ejemplo, Apple, para hacer el plural, siempre sería solo la S. Ahí es. Mm -hmm. This is Apple, right? Uh, apples. Yep. Los apples son expensive. Yeah. Yep. Expensive. Yep. Very good. En algunas ocasiones a veces cambia. Okay. En algunas, sometimes a veces cambia. Sí. Cambia, por ejemplo, la forma de los pruebas. Okay. En algunas ocasiones, pero uh, lo, lo van a ver un poquito más a detalle, pues, más adelante, right? So, you can have more examples on that one. Okay? So, right now, right now, we're going to just um, okay, uh, work, work on this one, okay? And okay, do you have another question? Do you have a question? No? Everything clear? Everything clear? O sea, que tanto como la pregunta, como el objeto que se va a preguntar, termina al final con S. Okay, can, can you repeat that, please? I'm sorry. Tanto la pregunta, el preguntar, it's... Mm, solo que lo tenga en pantalla lo puedo leer o sea preguntar qué es eso termina con s y decir por ejemplo es un lápiz en, en singular no no lleva s pero si ya decimos lápices sí lleva s al final y yes, that is correct y mi cámara no no se me activa estoy en clases pero mi cámara no se activa I'm sorry, no problem okay no problem. Gracias, thank yes. you. Yes, what, what you're saying is, is, is that correct? Le, le digo esto por el contexto, ¿ok? Ahora, el contexto en la vida real, si un objeto es singular, a usted le van a preguntar algo singular, ¿no? Right? Si usted le ven, por ejemplo, están en la mano a yourself, ¿no? Right? Y le dicen, hey, what is, what, is, what is that? Oh, that is my self, ¿no? Right? Oh, it is my self. Pero si usted anda con algo, unas cosas plurales, ¿no? Right? Usted, oh, What are, you, what are these? Yes. Entonces, la, la respuesta, pues, va a ser el plural. El contexto le voy a ir dando here. For example, here tenemos esto, ¿vale? Right? ¿Cuál es la cuestión que hago aquí? For example, here. Number one. I say, oh, what? What? What is this? Okay, and when I have something plural like this one, I go with something like, um, oh my gosh, oh, oh, what are these? What are these? Yes, right. What are what are what's this? And what are these? Utilizamos esos dos d and these. Cuando las cosas están cerca de nosotros, que las podemos tener bien cerca, y ahí es donde la utilizamos, ¿no? Right? right? Igual aquí. Uh, what's this? What's that? What are these? What's this? What are these? What's this? What are these? Okay? Now, let's move on with a little bit of practice, but I need you to, um, I need you to check this one really quick. Voy a poner el audio. Listen pronunciation, read, toma la captura, porque después lo vamos a practicar in 
tengo Lauren, Matt, and we have a third verse. So vamos a practicar in trios, okay? Yes? So let's listen. Every... Page 11, exercise 7, conversation. Where are my car keys? Listen and practice. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? I don't know. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. Maybe they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. You're welcome. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where's your wallet, Matthew? It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Page 11. Exercise 7. Conversation. Where are my car keys? Listen and practice. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? I don't know. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. Maybe they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. You're welcome. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where's your wallet, Matthew? It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Thank you so much. ¿Ya le tomó captura de pantalla? Yes. O oh, todavía no. <laughs> One more time. Okay. One more time. I'm sorry. Okay. Tómale ahí. Solo esperen un momentito que está cargando. Okay. Now you can take it. Tómale captura because we are going to practice this one in, in, in trios. Okay. We have Lauren, Matt, and a server. I will give you five minutes so you can practice. Then we get back into the main one and I will hear one participation from you. Okay. Some of you like don't have a mic, so don't worry. So that means uh, there will be one word with four. Uh and there will be one word that will be here in um in the breaker room. Okay. Yes. Van a haber algunos grupos with four. Esto por porque algunos pues no les funciona el mic. Ok. Um, voy a pedirle que se quede en la sala principal David Enrique. David Enrique. David. No. Ok. Le voy a pedir a Griselda. 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 A ver, te voy a pedir Ana Xiomara. Ana Xiomara. Ok. Thank you. Stephanie Carolina. Stephanie Carolina. Okay. Okay. Y Jenny de la Concepción. Jenny de la Concepción, ustedes tres se quedan en la sala principal. Los demás, cuando les llegue una invitación, la aceptan. Se une con sus compañeros okay. y tiene five minutes para practicar la conversación. ¿Ok? Yes. Yes. Ok, yes. yes. Beautiful. Yes. Begin. Okay, Ricardo, Katy. Eva, Talia, Rosa, Karina, Griselda, ok, so Ana, eh, Xiomara, Stephanie, Carolina, and Jenny de la Concepción, this is time for you to practice, pueden empezar a practicar ahorita, yes, ok,
Okay, teacher. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Solo que la purple, no sé, ahí lo vamos a... Ahí lo cubrimos. Sí. Lo repartimos. Como yo voy después, usted seguiría. Dale. Your wallet. I'm not, it's not. Where's your wallet, Matthew? Purse. Okay. No, they are not. Very good. Um, maybe they are on day on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your case? Your kids? Yes, yes they, they are. are. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, yeah. it's no. not. Where's, Where's your, your wallet, wallet have you? It's my poker. Um, why tight minutes? What is me wallet? Is my wallet? That is my wallet. That is my wallet. Darling, my wallet. That, that is. That is my wallet. Beautiful. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> Great job. Thank you so much. Okay. Time is almost over for the rest of your class. But you said, no, we still have time. So keep practicing. Check. <clears throat> ya son 30 segundos. Eh, hasta donde lleguemos, donde. Ok. Vuelva, que okay, ya vuelva. Hello. Hola, no, no se escucha, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like waiting for your classmates so they can join us. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation on that one. Okay. So we're going to have three people participating on today. The first one is you, um, Marvin. Usted es Matt. Okay. Matt. Marisol Hernández de Fuentes. Marisol Hernández de Fuentes. Usted es de server. Yes? El server. <clears throat> and Claudia, you are Lauren. Claudia Paredes. Ready? Let's begin. Hello. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? I don't. Hey. Car. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. Yeah. 
Yo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, you. Yes. Excuse me, are they your case? Yes, they are. Thank you. You are welcome. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it's not where your wallet, Matthew. It's in my pocket. Gray and menial. That it's my wallet. Thank you so much. That was very good. A few mistakes in pronunciation like keys. No. 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 Um minute. 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 Okay. But the rest was very good. Okay. Also la palabra excuse me. Excuse me, es bastante ocupado, right? Excuse me, recuerdo, ¿verdad? Interrumpir a alguien o pedir permiso. Excuse me, right? Así como el nene donde sale el señor pidiendo, ¿con permiso? Well, he was saying, excuse me. Excuse me. So, that's the way. Very good. Katy, usted es Lauren, Katy, Esther, Guzmán. Thank you so much. Eh, Jenny de Concepción, de la Concepción Urbina. Usted es the yeah. server. Ok. Ángel Eduardo León. Ángel. Sí, sí. You are Lauren. Ok. Ok. Ángel, ready? Let's begin. Yo soy Lauren. Yes. No. Oh, no. Where are you got keys? Kathy? I don't know. <clears throat> Are they in your port? <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. Maybe they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me. I'm trying to can. Yes, they are. Thank you. Your welcome, and this is your one. Mm. No, it's not. Where's your wallet, Matthew? It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Thank you so much. Very good. A few mistakes with keys, right? Keys, right? Y la entonación aquí, porque es el verbo to be, verb to be. Y comienza así. Va a ir hacia arriba, right? A little bit up. Are these your keys? Are these your keys? Is this your wallet? Is this your wallet? Para arribita, right? Is this your wallet? Are these your keys? Right? Is this your cell phone? Is this your computer? Uh, are these your pupusas? Is this your chata? Is this, I don't know, your, I don't know, whatever, right? Yes? Pero va a ir arriba. Cuando comienza con... El verb to be are or is va a final la pronunciación hacia arriba. Ok. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much on that participation. Thank you, all of you. Let's continue with, let me see. What's this one? Ok. We have questions with me. Let's take a look. Ok. So, lo que les comentaba, right? Is this your wallet? Entonation? Ah. Ok, tenemos two ways that we can answer, right? Una es con, yes it is, no, it's not. Are these your keys? Yes they are, no, they're not. Ojo, tenga cuidado cuando utilizamos estas palabras, where, where. Utilizamos where, yes, when we talk about place, ok, yes. ¿Qué es un place? Location. ¿Ok? Entonces, si yo le pregunto a usted, Where's your wallet? Usted me tiene que dar una location, right? Right, mire. It's in my pocket. ¿Cuál es la location? Pocket. Yes. Where is your daughter? Where is your husband? Where is your... I don't know, wife... <laughs> Where are you? Yes. Si yo le pregunto where, es que tiene que darme un location. Mire, 
Where are my keys? They're on the table. Where is my food? Oh, on the table. Okay. Where is your sister? Oh, in the bathroom. Where is your father? My father is at work. Where is your mother? My mother is at the beach, right? So, cuando utilizamos where, la respuesta que viene tiene que ser location, un place. Okay? That is the way we are going to do it. Siempre utilizamos el word to be, right? Y tenemos que tener en cuenta que podemos utilizar singular o podemos utilizar plural, right? Yes. Podemos utilizarlo with people o podemos utilizarlo with objects, right? Yes, right? For example, si yo le pregunto, Melissa, Giselle, López, do you have a pet? A ah, pet, yes, I am. Okay. Yes, where, I have. Where is your pet? My pet is sleeping. Oh, okay. Mire lo que, mire lo que me respondió. Dice, yo le pregunté, where is your pet? Okay, y me dijo, my pet is sleeping. The answer is incorrect, Melissa. Le digo, ¿por qué? Porque le pregunto, where is, right? Oh, my gosh. In a minute, espérame, que dime yo qué, I'm sorry. Lo voy a anotar here. Si no lo ven, let me know, okay? So, the question is, where is your pet? Yes? Right? No, no sé si nos importa. Exactly, right? ¿Para qué dijimos que utilizábamos where? Places. Para place, entonces me tiene que dar un location. Puede ser el, el, el patio, right? Backyard. Puede ser your room, in the room, the kitchen, in the living room, in the, uh, like on the sofa, right? Entonces, y utilizo el verb to be. Como utilizo el verb to be, no me puedo utilizar otro verbo en la respuesta, right? Usted me dijo, is sleeping. Sleeping es una action, yes, right? Como es una action, ya no es el verb to be. Y la pregunta es con el verb to be. Como la question is verb to be, so the answer tiene que ser con el verb to be. Acuérdense que el verb to be lo utilizamos para indicar a dónde estoy yo, o a dónde está algo, o a dónde estaba algo, o a dónde estaba alguien, o, o lo que sea. Pero es para decir dónde está algo. Entonces, por eso le pregunté, where is your pet. Ahora, ¿cómo cree que contesta? Where is your pet? Melissa? Uh, it's in my house. Okay, very good. Yes. La respuesta it's in my. Okay, ahí. Okay, no me puede decir it's in my house. Okay, my house. La palabra house está incorrect. Sí se entiende, yes, pero. Es como cuando le pregunta, ¿te gusta el chocolate? Sí. Y le usted contesta, uh, ¿por qué? Right. No, ¿Por qué? Porque sí. Right. Entonces, cuando decimos house, tiene que ser específico. Tiene que darme un, un location. Yo sé que usted está en your house, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, tiene que darme un location en la house. ¿Verdad? You know I mean? uh, maybe it's in the kitchen. Oh, very good. Or, or in the living room. Or I can say, is... My pet is sleeping in the room or not? Or ya, yeah, or, or is more specific? No, lo que pasa es que cuando me dice sleeping, ahí es otro contexto, porque yo tengo que preguntarle a usted la next question, que sería de eso, ¿no? Que sería esta, ok. Ya no sería where, sino que what, what? is your pet doing? Mm -hmm. Exactly, right. Ahí sí usted me puede contestar, oh, my pet is sleeping, my, my pet is playing, my pet is, I don't know, eating, my pet is barking, my pet is, I don't know, I don't know whatever. Pero en este contexto, where is, right, is different. Yeah. So that's why no me puede decir, oh, my pet is sleeping in my bedroom. Sí, no le recomiendo que conteste sí porque no va acorde a la cuestión. Yes. Ok. Well, I guess, great job. Stephanie, thank you. Y se podría decir, he is in my room. Oh, yes. Si usted quiere decirme el, el gender, 
el, el género del, del dog o del cat, right? Or the turtle or the bird. Puede decir, oh, she's sleeping, right? Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, she's in my room or she's in the kitchen. Sí. Sí, Stephanie. Yes. Okay. Repítame la sentence, please, porque. I'm sorry, I forgot. Ah, eh, he is in my room. No, yes, yes, that is correct. That is correct. Yes, right. <laughs> Ahora, sí le recomiendo yo, sí le recomiendo, porque sí lo puede decir, pero sí le recomiendo que comience, como dijo Melissa, con ips, ok. Con ips, right. O sea, sí lo puede Entonces, decir. Entonces, ips no sería exclusivamente solo para cosas, también sería para animales. Sí, it's, es la, esto it, es para, esto it, es para animals, para objetos, para lugares, places, uh, yeah, cosas abstractas sometimes, right. Mm -hmm. um, y, y she, exclusivamente para personas. No, también cuando ya identificamos, por ejemplo, si es un perro, es eh, más, este hembra o si es un perro varón, ¿sí? Cuando se habla ya más en específico, cuando ya se están dando detalles, en este uh -huh. caso el animal. Exacto. Uh -huh. Si usted me dice, oh, I have a dog as a pet, and her name is Lassie, right? Yeah, she is beautiful. She is big, and she loves to play in the backyard. Sí, si usted se fija ahí, ya digo, hay más detalles del animal, ¿vale? Right? Entonces, ahí es cuando puedo utilizar she, porque ya le escribo que es un, es un, es her name, es, es un nombre femenino, ¿vale? Right? Yes. In that one. Yes. Ok. Gracias. Perfect. ¿Alguien tenía question? Yo lo juro que no se utilizaba solo para personas, y tal vez era para los demás. Excuse me? Beautiful no era solo para personas. Beautiful, no, los adjetivos lo puede utilizar usted con cosas, objetos, lo que quiera. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Yo sabía que, eh, te juro, verdad, yo tenía entendido eh, que beautiful era para personas y pretty era para, para cosas. ¿no? no, todo, todo lo puedo utilizar, no se preocupe, right? Por ejemplo, oh, okay. a veces digo yo, hey, hey, oh, that is pretty good. That is pretty good, right? Cuando usted me da un comentario, yo le digo, oh, that is pretty good. Yes? Right? O cuando alguien se viste bien, right? Oh, you look pretty good, right? Yes? You can say whatever. Whatever you want, right? Sí que tenemos la canción, pretty woman. Yeah, but, but that is something else, right? That is something else. Pero los adjetivos, por ejemplo, a veces ustedes me dicen una answer, y yo les digo, oh, that's beautiful. Yes? Right? And, and that is that is like something normal that, that we use, yeah, uh, with, with adjectives, okay? So, um, just just don't forget, don't forget that. May I manage? I can see if we can have something more here. Oh, we have this practice, okay, a little bit. Hacerla así rapidito, tal vez tenemos some time. Is that your wallet? Tenemos la letter C. Oh, yes, it is. What about number two? What is the number two? Are these your glasses? What sería la answer? Mm -hmm. She are in your back, backpack? No, I'm sorry. No, it's not. Exactly. No, they're not, right? Letter E. Very good. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Ahí, Ana, vamos. They're in your... Backpack. Exactly. Very good. Is this your bicycle? Is this your bicycle? Solo nos queda... Oh, yes. It's it. Oh, yes. It is. No, no. Because aquí tenemos la letter C. Is this your bicycle? It's on my debt. No, it's not. Exactly, letter B. No, it's not. And the last one, 
where's your ta your tablet? It's uh -huh. on my desk, right? So, si usted se fija, mire, cuando tenemos where, where nos da una location, mire, location, right? Backpack es un location, letter D, desk es location, ¿ok? El otro podemos contestarlo con un yes o con un yes, ¿ok? So, these are questions with verb to be. Thank you so much, people. Don't forget to practice your English, and we will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Teacher, ¿cuántas tareas hay que hacer en la semana? Fíjese que eh, hasta donde sé, según lo que teníamos aquí calendarizado, son, eh, tienen que avanzar ustedes en dos, en dos secciones, que es la sección 1 y la sección 2, ¿ok? Para esta semana. Entonces, eh, tengo entendido hasta donde sé que la sección 1 y 2 son esta semana. Entonces tendrían que haber terminado la sección 1 y 2 esta semana. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you. Perfecto. Yo tengo una consulta. Ana, Xiomara Barrera. Yo tengo una consulta ya que eh, la compañera preguntó sobre las tareas. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo saber si están revisadas? Me he fijado que las revisan en la mañana, pero ¿cómo saber si... ¿Hay una nota o hay un puntaje? Fíjese que ahí sí no sé de esa información, lo siento. Ahí sí no le puedo dar porque ahí sí ya es otra persona la que se encarga de ese aspecto de la plataforma. Sí, la sí. No le puedo dar detalles de, de eso. Okay. ¿Y mañana van a haber clases siendo 22 sé? de junio? Hasta donde sé, yes. Salvo que me bueno. digan algo diferente, yo les comento ahí en el grupo o ahí les van a informar en el grupo. Bueno, gracias. Bendiciones. Thank you so much. Good night. Póngase el teléfono. Con Valeria. Tengo una pregunta. Donde dice discusión, en la plataforma se tiene que llenar algo. He visto que los videos dice que es de cómo grabarse y subirlos a la plataforma. Okay. Aparece un apartado de grabarse en la plataforma, dice usted. Sí, sí, aparece una parte que dice discusión. Y en los videos al finalizar dice que grabes, aparece un link y lo grabas y lo tienes que subir. Oh, en las actividades. Sí. Y en ese aspecto sí si no, no tengo detalles acerca de ese tipo, de, de esa actividad. ¿Y eh, a quién se le podría preguntar sobre eso? Eh, ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, este tiene este, unos técnicos que... Y, que están encargados pues tanto de la plataforma como de ese tipo de actividades para que le puedan dar más detalles de, de cómo hacerla o, o de cómo subirla incluso. ¿Sí? Porque es... perfecto, ok, thank you. Eh, ma, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta, fíjese que vaya, tuve problemas a la hora de conexión y entré a las 9.15, uh -huh. no tomé todas las capturas de pantalla de lo, del tema de ahora, y a la hora de que nos mandó al grupo, eh, nunca me mandó al grupo, se me quedó trabado. Tuvo que salirme de la, para volver a entrar y ya entré tarde. Y cuando ya entré, ya me perdí. O sea, no. Me iban a pasar los, los, los tamales. Okay. Ajá. <risa> Don't worry. Don't worry. Ok. Este, uh, queda, queda guardado pues, el video. Y el, el contenido que yo pues comparto aquí es bastante similar a que ustedes tienen en la plataforma, lo único que hago es reforzar un poquito más, right okay. Entonces, si usted va guiándose de la plataforma, right eh, pues vamos en, en el mismo, digamos, eh, rumbo, right Así que, uh, don't worry. Igual aquí se registra, por ejemplo, cuando ustedes ingresan, en you know, all that, eh, todo queda registrado on the, on the, okay. in the, on the video, ¿ok? okay. Eh, no, Muchas gracias, buen night. Permita, 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 permita. Ricardo. Eh, cuando usted hizo los grupos para practicar, eh, que teníamos que aceptar una invitación. Yo a la hora de aceptar esa invitación me sacó. Ya cuando me, me, me salí por completo y reingresé, ya usted ahí estaba hasta en otra clase, estaba en, otro, en otro, otra actividad. Entonces no sé a qué se debe eso o, o es lo normal. No, es que a veces pasa que, que el internet, bueno, ya sea de ustedes, ¿verdad? A veces falla un poquito cuando pasa eso, 
Entonces, a veces son cosas normales, eh, Ricardo, que pasa, así que usted no, no se preocupe en ese aspecto. Uh, ok. Perfect. Thank you. Good night, people. Take care. Good night. Bye.